This is Duke University. How atoms reorganize during phase transitions can be very difficult to study. We just don't have the tools to watch atoms move in real time, though we can usually make good guesses based on theory and computer simulations. For example, here is a computer model of how atoms would behave when transforming from a liquid to a solid phase and back again. These models are conducted by my colleagues in physics and chemistry, but besides these computer models, my lab also uses microscopic colloidal particles, which approximate how atoms behave and transform. We can vary the strength and direction of magnetic fields in a way that resembles the bonding interactions of actual atoms. Here you can see how our system looks when phases change from a liquid to a solid and back again. And there are many other types of phase transitions that we can study too, like how crystal lattices change size and shape during heating and cooling. One such phase transition is called a martensitic transformation, which is commonly observed in steel and is used to increase its strength when it cools very fast. Here you can see how our system closely resembles the crystal patterns made during this martensitic transformation. And what's interesting is that we can actually watch each atom and how it moves, and as well as the collective motion of ensembles of atoms during this transition. The insights that we gain from watching these macroscopic colloidal models could be useful to material scientists who aim to learn how the microscopic motions of individual atoms relate to the diffraction patterns they observe in materials. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.